what is up y'all boys it's your girl asia like the continent and welcome to my channel so today is august 1st 2021 and that means i have 18 days until my flight um that is leaving my one-way flight that is leaving to london and 19 days until i actually touch down in london town for this video i have a bunch of crap oh it's not crap it's my crap so it's not crap it's stuff i have a bunch of things back here on the side there that you cannot see on the side there that you can't really see um and this is just one room <laughs> and this house isn't even my house it's my uncle and aunt's house that they have so grace gracefully allowed me to stay in for the last two and a half months and i love them dearly and i couldn't have asked for better family in this time of transition so what i have done in the last couple hours is wrote down in this composition book just some um so i'm gonna do inventory because i have so many things and this helps me organize and it helps me um kind of segment and compartmentalize what exactly that i need to take what exactly that i may not need to take um and then see what i have either i need to purchase it or i'll purchase it there or i will um or see what i like i said currently have in stock in terms of things that i already own so um i wrote down two pages worth of um packing essentials that i need and i'm not this list is still it's a live list so it's still not complete um but the segments that i have is electronics and commodities kitchen and bath bedroom and beauty my uh, important documents school documents and clothing and, and within clothing that has all types of subcategories like shirts basics bottoms underwear um accessories bags shoes all kind of fall in oh dresses that's on here too all fall within that subcategory of clothing and thinking about what i'm gonna do and i think that's the biggest bucket so that has a page dedicated all to its stuff all on its own so i need to create subcategories within those subcategories that will compartmentalize those things better for me so when it comes to dresses is it like short dresses long dresses formal uh casual same thing with shirts same thing with pants etc 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 so um i'll get to that part last but when it comes to like the essential items like i listed prior to i'm going to um start doing inventory and documenting what I need, what I currently have, and um, going from there. This, I woke up at like five o'clock this morning and just started researching other people, how they do it, um, and uh, writing down how my brain works. <laughs> and I've been at it since five. So, but that's how, my, that's how I work. It's a little, in the beginning but it gets better and it makes perfect sense and it's helpful and it's a beautiful beautiful thing so I'm gonna walk you guys through that process as it goes and um, the like I said I will be doing subcategories <laughs> um, and so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling because I feel like I'm doing that a lot um, my luggage set actually comes in on tuesday i believe let me double check yeah my luggage set is supposed to be delivered on yeah on tuesday i got a four piece luggage set from off of amazon i ordered off of amazon from the brand cool life and it's a hard shell lightweight set in the color orange i'll pull up a picture of what it looks like here and i think it's cute i'm gonna pack and take with me the extra large and the 
large um, suitcases and then have the other two ship prior to and I have one more extra large um, suitcase that I'm gonna have shipped prior to um, or in the process of for everything else so yeah I have accommodations I found out where I'm going to stay I locked that down maybe like end of June beginning of July so my flatmate uh, has so graciously allowed me <laughs> to move my things there to ship my things over so um, I'm going to do that I cannot wait for you guys to see the flats it is exactly where I would want to stay in this borough that I want to stay in as a 30 year old expat coming to a new city needing the appropriate accommodations to fit my 30 year old professional turn up <laughs> lifestyle so I am super excited and I can't wait to see it in person because I know the videos don't do it any justice and I'll do a video obviously documenting all of that for you guys once it happens but um but yeah I am going to start with doing the inventory of the things that I need and um or the things that I currently have and I'll check back in with you guys once that's done I figured this is the perfect not perfect opportunity for me to vlog so I was just involved in a hit and run accident someone hit the rental car that I am in for the next 18 days as you guys know I recently sold my car so I'm in a rental and someone as I'm leaving my storage unit getting all my things out of my storage um, swiped the driver's side of the car and just kept going cops just came and got the police report but you know just one more thing I have to deal with <laughs> one more thing I have to deal with so I am um, I'm, I I don't know if I'm calling the insurance if I'm I don't know because I went through my insurance I didn't get the insurance through the rental people like a dumbass I always get the insurance through the rental people what god damn it the last thing that we left off on on my Lauderdale to London vlog series um my car you know that happened with the rental and um we're getting it situated like i was really about it yesterday because it literally just happened and i was pissed off but um from doing my research and being such a forward thinker I was able to, so the credit card I used to pay for the rental was my Chase Sapphire Preserve card. This video, this video is not sponsored in any way. We should, but it's not. Um, and with my Chase Sapphire Preserved, I was able to um, research some of my benefits that I have from being a card holder. And I have rental collision damage waiver. Um, included in my benefits package which allows me to get fully reimbursed for any damages or theft that would happen to a rental vehicle if I use my car to reserve um, the vehicle so I'm going to file the claim with them and um, have them kind of take care of it depending on how much the damage is Hopefully it's not too much. It's the front bumper. And bumpers can range in price between anywhere between 500 to 5,000, um, depending on how bad the damage is and where the damage is. So we're gonna see. I hope, fingers crossed, that it's not like too, too bad, but we're gonna see. Um, and besides that, my, I'm gonna take you guys with me because I'm just sitting here. My luggage set came in. Yeah, look at that. 
So now I don't have any excuse at all to not, ooh, I'm bright. Any excuse at all to not um, start packing or at least, you know, finishing up with my organizing to start packing. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I cleaned out my storage unit yesterday. So that is all taken care of. The things that I didn't either sell um, or give away are at my mom's. And I, um, I'm gonna go over there sometime in the next two weeks. Well, continually over the next two weeks because my mom to uh, clean out the things that I have that I'm for sure taking that's in her garage um, and filtering through all of that stuff. So I have my work cut out for me. I have a lot of things. I'm just gonna show you guys. So all that fun stuff there is hold on let me get in all of it all that fun stuff there is mine my peeps are so gracious to allow me to stay with them and take up like three rooms in their house with my things um everything in here like all of this stuff and everything in the closet is also mine um and then don't judge also because yeah and then everything in here is everything on the bed is also mine so yeah you know good times you know i just have to and then and then and then <laughs> i'm i'm not done um like it all I'm gonna just show you guys the depth of what I got going on. Oh, and show you guys the damage to the rental. So, this is the damage to the rental car. This is what someone did to it. So, like, it's bad, but it's not like horrible. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, you know? But that's not what I want to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys what's in the car. So it's more clothes and more clothes. It's as if I'm living out of this trunk. I'm not, but it's as if I am. And a few things in here. But that that's what's going on. That's what I have to tackle over the next 16 days. 16 days. 16 days. I'm going to do an unboxing of the suitcases, the luggage set. Um to show you guys what I got. And I'll do some filming also of the process of me packing and organizing and getting it together. <sighs> Y'all pray for me. Send a prayer out to Big J for you, girl. Because it's a struggle. It's a struggle. So, all right. I will check back in with y'all boys as I get going. I need to drink some tea and get my life together, eat something um, so I can focus. So, wish me luck. Got my passport, I've been searching, I've been looking to get out this town. Country hopping, baby.